what's up leo leo gang <laughs> this is going to be your reading for um the end of december so i'm just gonna get right into it um i'm gonna start with some oracle cards for you and then we'll get into the tarot and i'm also going to pull some lucky numbers okay i hope that this angle is decent um i'm gonna try to stay in frame if i get some of the cards out of frame i'm sorry <clears throat> can you give me some astrology cards for leo please house three house 11 and square House 3 says, um, early learning, childhood relations, the rational mind, and communication. House 11, friends, like-minded groups, um, and humanitarian beliefs. And then square, a challenging situation, and a mountain to climb. So you could be, like, um, kind of just earning um the people that you have in your life your friends i'm trying to find like-minded people to be around really aligning like i feel like this is heart chakra energy and while i was shuffling these tarot cards that they were like it was hard to put them together and i just felt my heart being kind of heavy and tense so that's bringing that energy back up um early learning childhood relations the rational mind and communication with house three you could be really like learning from your experiences thus far um this thus far up until this point and that is really vital to like your growth and your evolution as a person to um just analyze how you've grown up and how that you know those experiences have shaped who you are today and i feel like in um in connection with house 11 i feel like you might be cutting some people off especially going into the new year um cutting some people off or maybe even you know getting closer to certain people leo and with a challenging situation and a mountain to climb with this square you know that's <clears throat> that's the situation that's the challenging situation that you have going on here is kind of um or maybe you're having trouble you know maybe you're really struggling with like how you grew up and how your childhood was and you're really struggling to kind of um accept what it is and heal from that maybe you're healing from the past as well um <clears throat> I feel like with house 11 maybe being a challenging situation with friends you might be might be hard to let some people go you know but understand that it's for your best interest okay we have Capricorn ambition realism and methodical steps could be dealing with the Capricorn um, for others this could just be telling you to you know it's we're in capricorn season okay so this is really in alignment um i feel like the season for you um now up until whenever capricorn season ends sometime in like mid or end of january is really going to be good for you i feel like you're going to feel energized you're going to feel ambitious to you know take the practical steps towards your goals and your dreams and you're being being really realistic with yourself where you're at okay so i feel like that is nice with this yin energy here i feel like um your intuition is heightened at this time and you can really trust yourself okay um patience spirituality and receptivity is what this card says as well um and we also have capricorn coming out here with this yin energy the yin signs are taurus cancer virgo scorpio capricorn and pisces so the earth and water signs um so i feel like you um tapping into more of your own spirituality um 
in alignment with um, the energies of Capricorn season and the energies of the Capricorn archetype to be, you know, methodical. And, you know, this is taking calculated risks, um, but making your moves calculated, okay? And we have house six here, establishing a foundation. Can you see that? Health, excuse me, daily life and practical details. So I really like that. Um, this is all for you. You know, you could be like a young adult or even if you're not a young adult, just really, you know, establishing a foundation is always great. Health daily life and practical details this is a house six the number six is a perfect number so i feel like and 2022 222 equals six in numerology next year is like a perfect year so i really like this for you ending the year off strong okay i feel like capricorn energy is really enha enhanced here i feel like this is going to be a good season for you capricorn season and just to remember to keep your ambition alive whatever you need to do to stay ambitious stay focused um so whatever you need to do to take care of yourself keep doing what you're doing but also you know hold your vision and keep taking the um steps the practical steps uh to move forward you know one day at a time one day at a time house two we have physical physical security possessions material values and self-worth with house two i'm sorry my freaking nose is running that happens when i do reading sometimes i feel like with house two here you are really um this is a balance, right? To talk about balance, talk about decisions. And with this here, I feel like you're coming into very healthy balance with the decisions that you make. And a healthy balance with, like, I feel like the spiritual and uh, material realms, especially with you being a yang sign, but the yin coming out. So I feel like you're having a nice balance with your intuition and with, you know, taking practical steps towards your goals. You know, you have a nice, like, work hard play hard energy you're realizing how powerful you are as a person and um you know you're realizing what makes you happy you're definitely coming more into your skin um so that's a lovely energy let's get some more oracle cards for you leo i apologize for me like freaking sniffling over here i have an intense going and that just happens whenever i do readings um so hopefully that means you're resonating with it i think give me some moon moon cards for leo please we have prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus energy Ooh, we have both taurus cards so in your element here with another earth sign oops i'm sorry i'm sorry you're a leo you're a fire sign it's because capricorn came out and i want to i'm thinking about doing like more earth sign videos for my channel so i'm sorry but earth energy here so grounded energy for you here leo it's really nice your dreams need a practical plan what was I saying? We have that here with how six, the practical details and establishing a foundation. And also with Capricorn with methodical steps and realism. So very nice, a grounded energy. I love Taurus energy. And look at that. You're a Virgo. It's a, another earth sign. You have all three earth signs here. And you have the all the earth signs here with this yin energy. So, you know, you could be feeling very, very grounded at this time. Or that's one of your biggest goals is to, you know, establish this foundation for yourself. And, you know, that that like this is beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm so proud of you. I'm feeling the need to say that, you know. I'm so proud of you. Um, the spirit realm is very proud of you. You're on the right track for sure. Um, I can't wait to get in the tarot for you for the, uh, the end of December. Or really the end of the year as well. But the end of December, right? And I feel like, you know, you've, you've done good. 
and you're going to get blessed soon and we have full moon and virgo energy you are good enough you are more than good enough you are a child of god okay and never forget that on the back of the deck we have cancer energy a personal issue reaches resolution okay so something is going to be resolved for you so let's get into the tarot I'm going to put these away. I'm using, this is a modern witch tarot deck. A lot of blue energy that with the cards that I used for you. So blue is, I believe, um, it's actually the throat chakra. So maybe we need to speak up for ourselves, um, be being clear with our communication give me three cards for leo's general energy right now please um what can you tell me about leo what do they need to know give me three cards for leo please okay we have the queen of wands the high priestess in reverse and the queen of pentacles so you got two queens coming out also have my lovely gal the high priestess what up boo that talks about oof and then we have judgment so the high priestess talks about like unrealized potential when it's in the reverse something needing to come to light and with this judgment card here we have an angel here like something is about to come to light um, you might get be getting you might be the thing that's coming to light you it might be your time to shine especially with these two queens here so you've got you coming out leo energy here coming out strong with the queen of wands so you could be a female if you're not female you could just be with that yin energy just embodying your divine feminine which is very nice either either if you're a male or female okay the queen of wands the queen of wands is the queen of fire i love the sunflower and the black cat so she's um although she's very and this is nice although she is a fire sign she is also very intuitive okay she she you know it's her, the things that she does there aren't just like um free nelly like she's not just going with the flow she is very methodical in her steps in what she's doing the nine of swords okay you could be wanting to move forward with your life with a project um because you're healing from something some of you guys might be healing trying to get away from something in this is kind of specific but for some of you, you might be trying to get out of something, a relationship, um, I don't know, a job. And you know the way to do that is by making this decision, by making some type of play, I like to call it, some type of play, some type of move, okay, that's going to give you the stability, it's going to bring, it's going to bring in money for you, okay? Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are wanting to leave a job, okay? And I see, see here with whatever it is that you're that you have in plan in place, that's going to change, you know, change the source of income for you. Whatever you're moving towards, I do see it being stable. I do see it making money for you, okay? This is the thing that might be coming to light. You you know, you've been thinking a lot about something that you're obviously feeling trapped to with this devil here. Could This is Capricorn energy. So you might be needing to leave a Capricorn here. You have the Capricorn card in your uh, Three of Pentacles in your Oracle. Four of Wands. If you leave whatever situation that you're in right now, I see that, like, you don't see it, but I can see it here with these cards, with the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands. Once you leave this thing, 
that you're needing to leave behind and start this new journey it's like instant success it's instant manifestation a new job or you know people that are willing to buy your product or someone that you're needing to talk to in order to you know um establish your business or something like that you know it's there's a union here there is going to be a union there is going to be success there is a marriage not a literal marriage but a marriage in you know the connection of what you're trying to attract so i need to go to the restroom give me one second leo please Okay, I'm back, Leo, and I realize that this angle is probably not the best, but, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gotta take a hit, but let's get... <coughs> Took a dab. Let's get another message for you. I don't know how long that already was. Maybe about 15 minutes already. What else can you tell me about the sign of Leo for the end of December, please? Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords, the Hierophant in Reverse, and the Five of Swords. So Two of Swords, like, mm, not making a decision about something. But we have it with the Queen of Swords, but you do end up making that decision. The Hierophant, analyzing something with the Moon in Reverse. So, hmm. Five of Swords in Reverse with the Page of Wands in Reverse. Six of Wands, success. The sun, we have the sun and the moon. Lately when I'm getting the sun and the moon, I'm getting it like I'm picking up on it being people in, in a relationship. And I'm kind of picking up that vibe here right now. Because I don't really know what this is talking about for sure yet. The Six of Wands and the Sun. Some type of success. This is for sh like this. No one can take this type of success away. The success that may be coming to you. Okay. The Five of Swords and the Page of Wands. What is that about? The star in reverse. I feel like something has happened in the past that is causing you to have some type of like, um, you, you have a lack of faith here and you're overwhelmed about your future. Um, You're walking away from something and you're overwhelmed about what your future is going to look like. But it is going to be successful. You're starting something new here. The universe is asking you to start something new and to have faith in your path ahead, okay? Um, the universe is asking you to take some rest, um, to... Once you take rest, you're going to get clarity on the situation. You're going to feel like um, you're going to feel confident in in moving forward. Okay, I feel like there's a lesson that you have yet to learn with your current situation, Leo, uh, for the end of December, and I feel like. Um, Two of Wands. You're needing to make the decision to simply move forward. But I feel like what's holding you back here 
is just feeling overwhelmed having anxiety having a lack of faith feeling like you have no clarity on the future okay i feel like your trust you have you know, the lack of faith you don't have trust because of maybe past experiences and how people have treated you in the past you may have a lack of trust um because of a past relationship or that person that may be Capricorn energy that you may be having to leave behind. You might not feel like you can move forward. You might feel heartbroken, okay? But understand that the future, like I said before, this your, your future, this success that you're coming upon, this new start okay is no one can take this type of success away from you and this victory with the six of wands and the sun you are going to be successful you're going to be victorious you are going to win you are going to be on the greener side of the grass but trust you have to have trust in the universe okay and also with this um forward movement okay because you could also pick to just stay where you're at and you won't have any type of success at all this is only if you move forward right this forward movement is also going to bring you stability major stability it doesn't get better than this it doesn't get better than this leo but you have to move forward the emperor has everything the emperor has everything you cannot name me something in the world that the emperor doesn't have or that he cannot get right Five of Pentacles in reverse, you're needing to let go of the lack mindset, okay? There is an abundance of everything. There's that Capricorn energy. I'm strongly getting that you're maybe needing to let someone go. If they're not a Capricorn, they're just, this is just Capricorn energy, right? But they're very toxic for you. They could be an Earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? This could be a very specific message, maybe for just one person, but it's here, so I'm going to read it. This person that you're that you're chain that you feel trapped to, that you that you that someone that's in your life that's very close to you, okay? They're not doing anything good for you. They're holding you back. They're not holding you down. They're holding you back, okay? So that's what I have for you, Leo, for the end of December, okay? I'm going to get three lucky numbers for you. Um, we can pull one more oracle card, because I do like to kind of end on an oracle. <clears throat> we'll get a moonology, and we'll get one moonology, and then we'll get three lucky numbers. So, give me three lucky numbers for Leo, please. Three lucky numbers for Leo in the end of December. King and the King of Swords. Clarity. But the King is showing up. So, And then we have three. The Three of Wands. Expansion and growth. And we have the Seven. The Seven of Wands. Consistency. We have a Queen coming out. The Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Nine. The Nine of Cups. Wish. Wishes. But... I'm just relating them to tarot. As far as numbers, we do have a king and queen here. So I would say that love, love is in the air. The potential is for a lover to come in or for you to come into, you know, connection with someone, reunion with someone. I would say that that is on the table here with the king and queen. Or you just have a really nice balance with yourself and a nice balance between the masculine and feminine energies within yourself, especially with clarity emotional clarity uh, mental clarity and also with um money then we have three seven and nine okay as your lucky numbers three seven and nine and then let's get one moon card for my leos can i have one moon card for leo please we have don't let pride get in your way and guess what full moon in leo energy i love that i love pulling your own card in your own reading so don't let pride get in your way leo 
love you guys let me know if this resonated by commenting leaving a like and definitely subscribe to my channel so that we can stay in touch do you guys see that little rainbow right there all right peace have a beautiful rest of the month it doesn't get any better than this